Have you ever wondered how hurricanes are formed? It's a mystery that takes us over the vast ocean where our story begins. Picture a small storm, just a little one, swirling over the water. Now, imagine a snowball at the top of a hill. As it rolls down, it picks up more and more snow, growing bigger and bigger. That's kind of what happens to our little storm over the ocean. As it moves across the warm ocean water, it's like our snowball rolling down the hill. It picks up moisture and heat from the water, which is like the snow for our snowball. This helps our storm to grow, getting bigger and stronger until it's not so little anymore. It's now a hurricane, a powerful force of nature. So, a hurricane starts off as a tiny storm, just like a snowball starts off small. But how does it get so big and powerful? Well, that mystery will unfold in our next scene. Stay tuned. How does a tiny storm become a massive hurricane? It's all about two things, warm water and wind. Now, imagine you're a tiny little storm, just a small gathering of clouds over the ocean. You're not very impressive just yet, but you've got potential. And just like a seed needs sunlight to become a mighty tree, you need something to grow too. You need warm ocean water, that's right. The warm water in the ocean is like a big hearty meal for a storm. It gives the storm energy and helps it grow bigger and stronger. The warm water heats up the air above it, and as the warm, moist air rises, it creates a sort of vacuum that pulls in more air from around the storm. This cycle keeps going, making the storm more powerful with each passing moment. But what about the spinning part? How does our tiny storm start to spin and turn into a hurricane? Well, that's where the wind comes in. Picture a spinning top. If you've ever played with one, you'll know that you have to give it a little twist to get it going. The same thing happens with our storm. Winds coming from different directions give the storm a twist, and just like a top, it starts to spin. This spinning action is what turns our storm into a hurricane. Now, the spinning doesn't just happen on its own. The Earth's rotation plays a part too. It's called the Coriolis effect, and it's what helps the storm to keep spinning and spinning, just like a well-twirled top. So, just like a plant needs sunlight to grow, a hurricane needs warm ocean water. And the winds make it spin around just like a top. But what happens next? Well, let's find out in the next scene where we'll talk about how our little storm grows up into a powerful hurricane. Once the storm starts spinning, it can grow into a hurricane. But how? Let's imagine a car. To make it go faster, we need to put more fuel in it, right? Similarly, a hurricane gets its fuel from warm ocean water. The warmer the water, the stronger the storm becomes. As the storm moves over the ocean, it's like a giant straw sucking up more water. This is like when you inflate a balloon. The more air you blow into it, the bigger it gets. So the storm continues to suck up warm water from the ocean, causing it to spin faster and become larger. Imagine a spinning top. As you twist it harder, it spins faster, right? This is what happens to our storm. As it sucks up more and more warm water, it spins faster and grows larger. So the storm gets stronger and bigger, like a car going faster with more fuel, or a balloon getting bigger as it fills with air. But what makes a hurricane so dangerous? Hurricanes are very powerful and can cause a lot of damage, but why? Imagine a big, strong giant. This giant is so powerful he can pick up things and throw them around like they're toys. That's what the strong winds in a hurricane are like. They can blow around cars, trees, and even houses. Now think about this giant stomping around in a huge puddle. The water splashes everywhere, right? Well, that's what the heavy rain in a hurricane can do. It can cause floods, making rivers overflow, and streets look like rivers. So, you see, hurricanes are kind of like these big, strong giants. They have powerful winds that can toss things around and heavy rains that can cause floods. They start as tiny storms, but with the help of warm water and wind, they can grow into these mighty giants. Now you know the secret of how hurricanes are formed.